Okay, uh, in terms of walls, guys, can you keep it down? So I'm going to demo a few things based on uh, people's requests. So here comes, we're starting with a cube, right? So let's call this uh, floor, okay, floor. Okay, there's my cube right here. Looking at it, obviously, it's, I'm not, like I said to you guys in class, proportional uh, um, scale, relative, relative scale. Okay, so I'm looking at this. I'm going to press S for scale and press Y. Just come down like this, okay? I could do that, okay? I can press S and then press Z because I want to flatten this out, see? Okay? So there's that method, okay? Another method is, let me just delete this right here. Make another Q, add Q, mesh cube. Okay, you're looking down here. It says 2 by whatever, right? So let's just go and make something like 10 by 20. 10, 20, just like that. Oh, man, my hotkeys are just doing things. 20, and then I'm going to go 0.2, okay? Something like that, okay? Take a look, okay? So this is something like 10, 10 by 20. So I may just make this 15. And don't worry about meters. It's not really meters, okay? 15 by 20. Okay, cool. So that's my... F Guys. <sighs> Didn't get it today. Anyway, add mesh cube. Okay, I, I don't know what I wrote the last one, but this one is going to be wall, okay? I don't know. This is not complicated, guys, okay? You just bring the wall over here. Bring it up on the floor, okay, like this. Okay, hang on. So if I press 1, I could see that right now. It should be somewhere over here. See that? Okay. And obviously, this is massive for thickness, right? So if I press S for scale, X, look, like that. So I want thick walls, okay? There. And now if I want to make this taller, yeah, I can scale all day. But you know what? Let's just go to edit mode. Tab, go in here. Select this one. One side. Done. For example, okay? So right now I'm going to come over here. I got this end, and now I'm going to take this piece over here and bring it up. That's it. Okay, so I want a high walls. There it is. So this is called wall, right? So tab out. All right, so we got one. Do me a favor, guys. Can you guys all look here, please? Later on, when you guys apply textures in the summative and so on, you're going to find that things are not going to work out because your scale is off. You're going to have to come in here, object, apply all transforms look at the scale pay attention over here look at this look at this look at this number okay this is something we got to do all the time apply it's con uh, command a will do it for you all transforms see how it became one 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 the other thing is when i do that the center is off right so i need to go right click set origin look carefully center of mass okay to me that works okay so i have wall number one Okay, so if I want to duplicate this, it's Shift D. You right click, watch this, duplicate object, done. So now I'm going to say rotate on Z. So I'm just going to rotate a bit and just type in 90 here. Look, 90, sweet. All you need are two walls. Okay, guys, two walls right here. So now you bring this over. Okay, there. And then you know how to fix this, right? You come in here, you press Tab. You go in here, as in face mode, number three, you bring this in, go here, like that, okay? We can do stuff like that, and then tab out. So those are the walls. The other thing I said to you guys is start with something, okay? So I may start with um, my flooring, right? So let's say I'm going to make floors, right? So I'm going to make a new cube, for example. Just, I'll just make one cube, and I'm going to call this uh, a hardwood. Uh, watch here carefully. Look, hardwood, look. You double click here. When you select something, look, it says cube, right? If I double click, I think there's a faster way you can right click and do it. Hard wood. I'm just used to doing that in Photoshop. So there it is, hardwood one, right? Oh, I just messed that up. Okay, look, right here. See there? There's my first piece of wood, right? So watch what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to come in here and scale this S, Z. I'm going to bring this down. S, Y, S, and then Y. Go, boom. We got that, right? S and then X. See? Cool, right? So this would be one piece of wood, for example, for me. Okay? Hardwood. Okay? So I, I think I demoed this somewhere, guys. I don't remember where. But I'll do it again. Three. I'll bring this down. Here. Turn around. Okay? So basically, now you duplicate, right? Shift D. Press Y. It duplicates on the Y. Okay? For example. 
take both of these, you bring them in, you can resize them, do as you wish, right? Let's do another one, Shift D, and then move it on the X, X, go in, push it in, here, like this, really quickly. I'm doing this really fast so I could do the next uh, demo. So what you want to do now is you want to scale it, you want to make it smaller, S, Y, right? Like that, so we got that piece in here, perfect. Then I'll duplicate this one, Shift D, and then move it on the X. Perfect. See how it's moving on the X? You bring this in like that. And I don't want it to look perfect. And then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to Shift D on this, and I'm going to move it on the X, move it over, and then slide it on the Y. Here we go. And then so on and so on. Okay, and then you can resize it yourself and so on. So let's say you did that. Okay, so you make a bunch of these, you duplicate them. I would do about three or four of these lines and then duplicate them, okay? So there's that. Um, we didn't talk about doors, but we did talk about creating a fireplace. Do you guys remember the fireplace? Okay, yeah. so all you got to do right now is you can do it another way. You don't have to cut into the wall. You can come in here and make an object like this, cube. Look, call this fireplace. We can make another way. Fireplace, please. Am I typing right properly? <laughs> fireplace, let's see. What I could do here, go in here. Remember the chest piece, right? This is right, right out of the chest piece, look. Come in here, scale this on the Y. S, Y, Z, in, 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 like that. And then scale on the X, S, X. So you can go out and then S on the Z, uh, up. Something like this, okay? So let's pretend this is my fireplace. I'm gonna come in here. I'm looking at this, it's looking really small in the space right now compared to the hardwood uh, flooring, right? So here, I'm just going to come in here, SX, let's make it wider, and then go SZ, um, sorry, SZ. So I'm going to go bigger, I'm going to come over here, leave it like that. Okay, something like this, I want this to be even higher. So what I could do now, I prefer to get into edit mode, which is tab, go into face, bring this up, okay, there. And what I'll do is I'll bring this face forward like this. Okay, there we go. So I'm preparing my fireplace now, okay? Now look, you're in here. Go in, so I'm going to call this fireplace. I did. Tab, go into face. Watch this. Go to inset. Zoom, like that, okay? So what we're going to do is select this face and say, bye-bye. See ya. Take this edge. Watch this. And bring it down. Bring it down, 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 like that. So now if I go to face mode... And I go to extrude, which is E, push in. See how cool that is, right? You can make this face thicker, right? See this face here? Pardon me? Yeah, you can make a door that way. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Yeah. So I'm going to create the heart down here. So I'll just make another one. Tab out. Go uh, add object. And then the uh, mesh cube. Watch this. It's going to be right in here now. It's going to go in here. Okay, I'm going to use the scale tool to from here now. I'm just going to go here like that, push out on the Y this way. Let's see if we could do something like this and then out a bit more. Okay, so there you go. I got this part done. See, something like that. Cool. All right. So you look up, bring it up higher. So this should be higher than the wood. And then so I can go uh, scale Z here like that. And then I'll bring it down a bit, something like that. So there's a kind of a floor change, right? There's a size change. So that works. Okay, what do you think of the fireplace? Is that okay? If you guys wanted to round this out, all you got to do is come in here, go to edit mode. Watch this. Add a cut right in the middle. Boom. Get out of the cut tool. Go to edge. Select this edge and bring it up. See? If you wanted to do that. Okay? See that? How's that so far for the room, guys, at home? What do you guys think? Is that okay? So you see how this changes? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my, um, my uh, table for myself because that helps me with the scale. Does that work? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, the next one's broom, right? So uh, how many minutes is this? Nine minutes? Should I add the broom here? Jamicia, should I add the broom to this lesson? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let me draw this quickly here. So watch. Uh, you know I'm a big Harry Potter fan, right? You guys know this. So I'm going to come in. I'm not going to do uh, uh, whatever. What is it? Nimbus? Nimbus something? So 
Yeah, yeah, you got it. Woohoo! Something like this here, right? Curving, and then all this is is kind of like uh, some cylinders down here. That's what I'm going to do, okay? So I'm going to do that, okay? So that's the idea. Let me see if I can bring the eraser back. Woohoo! Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Let me go in here. See ya. Done. Okay, let's go. Let's bring a cylinder in. Uh, or what I'm going to do is get a cube first. I'm going to take a cube. I'm going to say S.25. Make it super small. See? I made it super small. And then I'm going to go S.5. Basically, I'm making it smaller and smaller each time, right? Okay? So watch. Uh, I could have made this out of a cylinder too, but here. Let's go to tab. Select this piece here, the face. Come up here and all the way up. Extrude, E, come up. And then I'm going to take this edge here. Watch. I'm going to take this edge and this edge and move them over just a bit. Who knows? Like you guys can make this out of something else, okay? Leave it. Tab out. Now I'm going to make a add mesh uh, cylinder right there. Wow, this is massive. So let's go 0.5. Ooh, radius is 0.1. Okay, maybe more than that, 0.25. I'm just playing around with the radiuses, okay? I don't need 32 sides, obviously. Let's go with 12. How does this look here? As soon as I let go, there goes the piece. Okay, there. Okay, so you got something like that over here. So this will be the piece that I'm going to, oops, I'm going to create here. And then I'm going to add a bunch of cylinders below this, okay? So Control shift d There it is. S.1. Look how thin that is. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this. You, I don't think you can. Look. And then you just bring in. You can do this, which is the hard way. SZ. Look, you could do a bunch of these. Okay. Okay. You can come in here, bring them in, and then rotate them and so on. Okay. So that's option one. Option two is you duplicate this, Shift D, move it on the Z, and then you scale it, right? Look. You scale this, go like that, right? Something like this. Go to the bottom face by going to edit mode. Select this face, which you press three. And then move your mouse somewhere out here, press S, and then like that. See? That should work. Okay? So this works in a way. Tab out. Okay? So this is here. Get out of that. This is a weird looking uh, broomstick. So let me just see if I could put a smooth modifier on here or something. Does this app have it? Let me see. What do you got here? Bevel, Boolean, Decimate, Meter, Remesh, Solidify. I don't know where it is. Uh, what's it called? Remesh? Multi-resolution? Would that Or subdivide? There you go. <laughs> yeah, you can make this out of a cylinder too, okay? What was that? Yeah, you were supposed to be working the whole time. Here, I'll make another one of these from a broom handle from... Okay, let's just bring this down. Scale this out. S. See, I got that. I can move this up, right? Like this. Now I could duplicate this cylinder as well. Shift D, Z. I'm going to hit S.5 to scale it in half. Okay, there. And now I'm just going to take your scale tool, which you could do as well, and just you know, bring this up like that. And you pretty much have what you want. So if I go S.5 again, makes it really thin. Yeah, that works, I think. And then you just bring it up. So we, we can make this taller and all that, right? Do you get what I mean? It's a cylinder, cylinder, cylinder. That's all you need, really, to make this work. It's up to you. So if I go S1.2, it makes it thicker. And then I'm going to go to scale again here and just crank this up. So the other thing I would say, Jamisa, is this. Look, you come in here, right? Let's make it interesting. Do you get what I mean? No one's going to get a perfectly dowel right here like this, right? So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to come in here with the edit mode. Insert edge loop. Look, cut, cut, and cut. Just three cuts. That's it. Okay, get out of the cut and watch what you could do here now. Look, you can come in and just push this out a bit. Look. Now you can take these loops here by holding Option, boom. And then you can go, yeah, you know what? I'm going to move this this way. Do you see what I mean? Look how much better this looks now, right? And then what you could do is come really close in here to the top, press 3 for face right here, and just, you know what? Maybe let's add another cut over here. Let's see if we could do this. Just add a cut here, move it up like that. That's good enough. 
get out of there, come back to the face, three, and then let's make this part wider. You know, you can make it taller and then press S. Move your mouse out here so you can get the spider web and then just do that. See how it doesn't look the same? Do you know what I mean? Look how cool that looks, right? And then what's interesting is some of the space, see, see how it's all perfectly round, right? You know what I mean? So what I could do is I could come back here with Alt again and maybe make this one a little smaller here. See, oops, I turned the wrong way. Uh, I'm not in edge, sorry, I'll go to edge mode scale it look see like that right i'm going here s and then i'm gonna move my mouse out here scale right isn't that nice you see what i mean right and then you could do the same thing in here tab out come in here now right this is not going to be perfect obviously right so do the same thing go to edit mode tab bring your cut tool in here somewhere in the middle Right, so here, same idea. Another one, let's just do one more and slide it up, and that's it. So here, after you cut and get out, look how cool that becomes. See? Tab out. So this one looks a little too big for me. I'm going to scale it. See, this is you having fun, right? Having creative license, right? You sketch out an idea. So basically, a cylinder from another cylinder. This comes down. Kind of nice, right? So all three. You can type in... Command J to join it together. So it becomes one thing. Okay, Command J becomes one thing, and now you call it broom, right? Broom it is. Done. Okay, what do you think? There's a piece. So then you can kind of put it over here and say, scale wise, how does it look? That looks pretty good, right? You see what I mean? Now what I could do is put the rotate tool on like this and just rotate it a bit, leaning over here for fun, right? See? That's nice right there. That's a nice piece right there you have. Cool? And then we get rid of the other. That was the bristles. That was too hard. Cool? Yeah. All right. Taking requests. Let's go. This is 17 minutes. Stop recording. Boom.